my god. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Oh my god, it's windy. You guys are probably getting absolutely destroyed by the wind. Oh. Uh. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Driving with Randy podcast. This is episode 53. 53. We are, if you guys have never listened before, my name is Road Rage Randy. I'm just, I'm finishing a donut right now. If you've never listened before, let me tell you, you're probably going to think this podcast is really obnoxious because I talk with my mouth full. I, I, I just, I'm obnoxious. I mean... I sit here and eat. Got episode like 17. I was munching on chicken. It was like shit. I do what I want. That's why people like the podcast. So welcome. My name is Road Rage Randy. I get a little angry sometimes at drivers. Like this male lady. You're not even parked on the side of the road. Move over. Jesus. I tell you, just people in general that drive on that that drive on the right side, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, they got their 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 uh, their uh, steering wheel on the right side, like people over in the, across the ocean. That's right. This is American podcast, but everyone's welcome. We're in like India, uh, Ireland, the UK, Canada, and the US. I believe is that five. I think we're in five different locations. The, the podcast is just absolutely booming. Let me tell you, I checked my listens this morning and just like, it's popping. My new episode where I sit there and I talk about absolutely nothing had like 10 listens. Like 10 people are listening to me? No, my opinion is not that good. I'm not that even entertaining. I just, I drive around and eat donuts. I mean... There's a couple episodes that I feel like should have more listens. But then I go and listen and there's like episodes with 20 that are like, this episode shit. These, these 20 people should have checked out a good episode. But I think that's going to get us into our topic today. I'm actually on my way to the bank, which is in a grocery store. And then my dad told me not to waste my time. But we have this mouse running around the garage. And this dude, oh my God. So the, he has this mouse trap set up, right? My dad, my dad, the, the first, the first time he forgot to set it. So the mouse fucking eats all the, all the peanut butter off. He's like, I didn't even set it. So then he sets it and the mouse still gets the peanut butter off somehow. Like what? It's a sneaky ninja mouse. And my dad was showing me like, that thing is sensitive, bro. Like, you touch it with, like, a gust of wind and it's snapping. Like, this mouse went full ninja. ninja. It's got, like, a snake tongue or something, a frog tongue. or that. Licking from halfway across the garage or something. It's crazy. And then, now it won't come back to the trap. Like, it got away with it a couple times and it won't come back, but we know it's in there. So, I think we might head over to the local Target and um, see if they got the mouse trap he's looking for. You know, my dad's like, the wood one's not working. I got to get something a little better. It's just like, and you want me to get it? Because he's working is, I don't know what you want. Like, what do you want? I'm like, you want a bear trap? He's like, that won't work. So we might get like a raccoon trap or something or, uh, you know, some kind of a snare. I think that'll do the big trick. But, this, uh, I think the, the idea, we're, I can't speak, but I'm like, I'm really hyped up today for some reason, but I, I got like an idea of what we're going to talk about today and it has to do with this podcast and how it's kind of just people have been listening to it. It's booming. I'm noticing I'm getting consistent listens. You know, I'm not, I'm not famous by any means. I might be famous in like two people's eyes, but I just, I, God damn it, a Tesla driver. God damn it, I hate those things. Fuck you. Get 
I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be a douchebag and slow down. I'm going I'm going 30 miles an hour. <laughs> Should I cut over it? Just cut over it. Fuck you and your fancy robotic car. It's not even, it's stupid. It's stupid. You're stupid. You're the type of person to have a bumper sticker on there too, you stupid. God, Teslas are stupid. I hate them. The drivers drive like idiots. They don't know how to drive. That's why they have to have a computer system. Okay, back to the content. So, I, I uh, oh my God, we're, we're going to be, oh, we're flossing through these cars right here. Pow, didn't even get hit. All right, so the podcast. I've noticed the numbers have been consistent. I'm not famous. But I want to talk to you about consistency. I think consistency is a big thing. You know, there's been days since I started this podcast, April. I released in April. I have missed exactly one week, which is two episodes. Because I, I do two episodes. Oh, I, uh, I do. We might have to go to the... We might have to like go get a um, some kind of a beverage because I, I'm, I'm speaking right now and I feel like I'm in the zone and I don't want to end the podcast. And I, it's another thing for new people. You just gotta realize like I podcast wherever I want. I'm I'm gonna be in the middle of the store podcasting and like that's just what I do. I I don't care about other people listening to my live podcast the wind is very much into the mic so i'm trying to cover it i hope it sounds okay but at the same time you have to remember like i don't care i don't care i upload everything as is and by the looks of it it doesn't look like it's uh really bothering it too much anywho mm, let's discuss the consistency so i started this podcast back in april and I've missed exactly one week. There have been days where I have no content and I need to produce something. There's been days where I feel like I have not. Um, you know, I, I just, I don't want to go out and podcast. But I think the important thing... Wow. People in winter coats? The hell? It's like... Let's see. I got my watch on. Huh? It's 39 degrees out and there's people wearing winter coats in the grocery store. And everyone seems to be talking to someone. And then there's just me talking to myself, as per usual, right? I mean, nothing, nothing new there. Ooh, they, they have... I might get some macaroni. I think macaroni's the way to go. I mean, we got... A- Anywho, I started this in April, right? And... Nah, this macaroni isn't as good. You know what? That's what I'm going to do for supper. I'm getting macaroni from the grocery store because it's good. Um, I started this back in April. There's been days where I don't want to. I, I don't want to go speak to myself. I have nothing to talk about. But I think the important thing is you just go out and do it. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's you know starting your own podcast or if it's um, exercise. You know, there's going to be days where you don't feel like doing anything. You just want to sit at home and not go, you know, kind of go through the motions. But I think the important thing is you just go out and do it. Go do it. I think that's the important. Shut up. God, people just always interrupting my podcast. They got all different sorts of beverages here lately. We got we got grapefruit, Vita sparkling. We got lem, lemon cocoa. Coconut water, all sorts of new different kinds of waters here in the drink aisle. I'm just, I'm looking for something delicious. But yeah, just, I, I feel like a lot of time, what, is there caffeine in this? Hydro water? I don't want caffeine, to be honest. Um, it's made by Monster. Doesn't really say. Uh, it probably says somewhere there's probably like 600 oh caffeine from all sources 188 milligrams per bottle that's actually quite a bit we're not gonna go about that um but yeah consistency 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 I think that's the big thing if you know you start a YouTube channel you might not be getting views like when I started this podcast I had like a whole 
three listens or something on my first episode. It's like, yeah, you're not going to get listened. I don't do a lot of promotion either. I rely on you, the viewers, to go out and promote. Oh, I might get strawberry milk. Strawberry milk sounds delicious. Um, oh, kiwi strawberry water. I, just so much sounds good right now. I think strawberry milk is what I'm going to begin. I'm going to go get some milk. But, yeah, consistency, fellas. If you're starting a YouTube channel, if you're starting exercise, a new diet, um, you know, a new Twitter account, whatever it is, I think that just getting out and being consistent is the way to go. And things seem to fall into place when you are a little more consistent. Um, like I said, I've missed two days in what, six months? And it's uh, going fantastic. And it's, it's, it's certainly helped because I just, I've learned to not give a fuck. I mean, I'm podcasting in the right by the Ego Waffles, which is not a sponsor, just we're right by the Ego Waffles right now. And I don't know, who comes to the store for one pint of strawberry milk? But the idea is, I was, I was a little busy. I, uh, I was in thought. I was trying to be a little, a little uh, talkative. And I'm going to be stopping at the bank here, but I just wanted to get some milk. So I am going to pause here. I, I, I don't want to really check out with just milk. Um, I will pause and I will get back to you guys. It's been like it's been like 12 minutes and we're pretty motivating so far. Maybe I will, maybe this is going to turn into like a a motivational podcast. I'm going to become the Joel Olstein of podcasting, but I'm road rage Randy and I get angry at drivers. It just I don't think so. But maybe, maybe it's it's possible. And I know if you, if you guys ever want to like share your share this podcast, just be like if you guys want the Joel Olstein of uh, podcasting, it is Road Rage Randy, Driving with Randy. Best thing out there, motivates you to go be consistent and shit. All right, I'll be right back. I need to check out this uh, milk and go to the bank. All right, so we... we the, the, the bank has like... Oh, my God, it is not. It is not. A, okay, it, it's not. I thought we had another Tesla driver. We, we really got to figure something out. Like, I just... I can't stand them. And they irritate the crap out of me. So we're going to have to figure out a way to either talk to a Tesla driver, get to know what kind of a person is driving a Tesla. Because right now we're judging people. Judging books by its covers because they're driving Teslas. Now I truly do believe all Tesla drivers drive like idiots. I feel like maybe we should get to know one. Sorry, I got some strawberry milk. Um, and here's kind of where I'm at. Oh, oh, shit. We got we got drivers coming from all directions here. All right. All right. Um, we're going to go check on mouse traps or bear traps or rat poison. Oh, rat poison. Yeah. We can poison the thing. But then it kind of just still run off somewhere. And I... I'm not, my dad's a hunter and he's he he just he really has this like Garfield like sense in him like I'm not calling my dad a pussy I'm just saying like he's got this cat sense that he wants to go get the rats because you know cats like to get mice and I'm not calling my dad a pussy okay I'm just saying he's a hunter he shoots ducks deer all that all that fun stuff we're about to get hit. Um, but yeah, I just saw a bench with a sign that said, ride with the number one car insurer in Minnesota, Jack Germo. Again, not a sponsor. I just, I saw a bench that said that. And I, I'm thinking maybe we can give him a call because it says ride with him. I, I'm not, I feel like he's going to try and sell us insurance, but maybe he will let us do a podcast in his car because it, it, I'm just like, it, it says ride with him. So I'm kind of getting mis, mixed senses as far as like what's going down. 
We're gonna back into a spot. You think I know how to back into a spot? Ha, no. I've been I've been working on it though. Oh baby. I think we hit it. Did I hit it? I, I don't I don't where are the lines at? Um I I to be honest, I have no fucking clue if I hit the parking spot. I I'm thinking no. Yeah, I I I hit I did not hit the parking spot. I I suck at driving, bros. Where the fuck's the parking spot? All right, I can't see the lines. All right. There we go. Now we're in between the lines. I need to really like work on that cuz I know how to and we're going to let my milk my milk will stay cold. It's nice and cold out. Yeah, that that guy. I feel like he has a billboard up. Maybe he'll come on the podcast one day. Maybe, probably not. We need to have more guests though. I think we're going to blow up if we get some guests. So, we're going to take some people for a ride. We'll get food together. We'll eat. Is this guy going to park next to me? It's going to look Bro, it's going to look like we're doing drug deal. Well, I'm parked in the middle of nowhere and you roll up right next to me? Dude, you can't do that. Okay. Let's go check on these mice traps. I was kind of... I had, like, something else I was going to talk about. I don't remember what it was. I feel like it was pretty important. Or, like, at the very least, I feel like you guys would enjoy... I, I just... I thought of it when I was leaving the grocery store. It is windy as fuck out. It's like a hurricane, but... um. We're going to do my best to make sure that the uh, wind isn't destroying the mic and that you guys... God, what was I going to talk about? Now it's kind of irritating me, but it's like, it's my podcast. I can talk what I want. I'll talk about what I want. And if I want to do a whole podcast of me trying to figure out what the hell to say, well, then so be it, right? Um... It was going to be something else about, like, you know, being self-motivated or... Some kind of, some kind of inspirational thing, because I told you guys I'm going to be the Joel Olsen, right? Maybe that's what the title is going to be. Just talk about being the Joel Olstein of podcast. Oh, we took the wrong turn. We can't get in this way. Okay, now we're good. Someone, someone's rewards cards on the ground for the local gas station. Um, what the fuck is this? Oh, it looks like they're having a. Uh, job fair. I already have one of those, so we can't, we can't get a job here at the good old Target. And I, I, got, I got two of them jobs. I'm a full-time podcaster. No, not really. But one day, one day, I'm Joel Olstein. That guy has great hair. Oh my god. I really feel like I should have told him. Might have made his day, but I feel like a lot of people are going to be seeing his shit like that. See, this is so much more quiet than the grocery store. Although they do have music going, and I hope the mic isn't picking that up. Because if the mic picks the music up, we're going to get copyright. We're going to get sued. I should probably see the... Because it's like, you can hear the intercom. Should maybe pause the podcast and check. Or I can just keep talking, and if it's not good, I'll scratch it. I'm trying to think... Oh, they got like, oh, they have like Apple Watch bands here. I have a, this is a, that's a cool band. That's actually really fucking cool. I like my band though. I'm just, I just, I wanted to look at that. I never really looked at that. I never looked at Apple Watches until my boy John hooked me up and, <laughs> oh my God, I got a story about that too. So I was telling him we have this new girl at work. So John, John is the one that gave me another guy with an Afro, I think. Maybe that's a requirement around here. God. Well, this album, Fandom, this was on Spotify. I, I don't even know who it is. Fandom Waterparks. That was on Spotify. I saw it. Maybe you have to check that out. Now 71. It, that's still going. We got the Jonas Brothers, Sean Mendez. I don't even know who half these people are. 
Billy Eilish, Lizzo, D- I don't know who the, that's, no, that's what I call music, heck, no, that ain't music, that ain't music, um, I got all sorts of funky stuff over here, Stranger Things hat, I should get that from my boy Peter, anyways, back to the story about John, so, John, um, Okay, so John gave me this Apple Watch, and I'm going to record a podcast straight from it, and I feel like that's going to be an absolute shit show, but again, it's my podcast. We have like 60 episodes, and I do what I want. Oh, they have Halloween costumes. We're looking for mousetraps, so I don't know where the fuck they'd be. Um, we're in pet care. I feel like that's not it. I definitely feel like we're not caring for anything by fucking... When you go looking like home improvement or something, maybe we'll find an employee. Um, yeah, yeah, Halloween costume. So John, John gives me this. Uh, <laughs> what? There's unicorn masks. Um, yeah, John, John gives me this. Uh, th- this this watch, and I was telling him a story about. Um, we have this new girl that started at at um, our work, and. She, <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of the person to just not care what people think about me, and um, she was, she was new, it was her, it was, it was her first day, oh, that's spooky, um, she was new, I was, um, her first day, and I, I, I always introduce myself because I'm on the safety team, and I just, I, I don't know, I'm kind of that person to greet new people, and, um, she, she rolls in, right, and, um, what are these, are these bouncy balls, these are bouncy balls, these are, um, I'm kind of that person to greet people, right, and, um, oh my god, I, I start, I, I told you guys I always ask people if they've seen the movie Roar, right? And I asked her if she'd seen Roar, and she's like, no, what's it about? And, like, boom, right there, that's just the trigger. Oh, my goodness. There's, like, all this delicious Halloween-looking food. Um, But so I, I just go off for, like, 20 minutes on what Roar's about, and... She was, like, completely uninterested, which I find absolutely hilarious because I I, I knew she was uninterested, but I just wanted to keep going. I feel like here is where we're going to find it. We're going to find it somewhere around. It looks like a cooking pan. That's not. But this is, like, the home, home section, I believe. We got sunglasses. That's not it. But... I'm trying to stay away from there because the speaker's really loud and I don't want music on here. But, um, she completely uninterested. And then I asked her if she likes podcasts and I continued for probably another 10 minutes and the guy behind me was dying laughing because he knew I knew she was uninterested. She was giving like, yeah, mm-hmm. You know, kind of shaking her head a little bit. I'm just like dying, right? It's it, I was telling John I was doing that, and he um he came up to me and um this is exercise. Why would it be an exercise? I'm an idiot. Um. So I was telling him I did that, and we got sandwiched between her. So he's ahead of her, and then I'm behind her. And oh, playing cards, playing cards are the shit, man. And um, he goes, "You guys sell mouse traps?" Yeah. 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 Um, I might be on the wrong side of the store. Yeah, you are. I am. Oh, okay. Somewhere around here. It's up in, on the other side, up that way. Okay. And I bought a sticky one. I bought a sticky one. 
My dad's been trying to get one, and he just the, the mouse keeps getting away. <laughs> you want something else? So, yeah. And I, it's that time of year, too. They're, they're burrowing away. <laughs> Okay. Awesome. Close. Thank you very well, much. My daughter lets them loose around the country. I'm like, why would you let them know? Right. 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 I'm the same one that keeps coming back in. I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. Um. Ooh, what is this it? Uh, no, that. Wait, is this Tomcat? Mouse killer, child resistant. Nah, that's I don't I don't glue traps. That's so rude. Glue it just gets stuck. What was I talking about? Okay. Well we know where they are, it's not what my dad wants. Um what were we talking about? We were talking about um God damn it. Oh my god. And we just had a guest on the podcast. What a lady. What a lady. Um God damn it, what were we talking about? We were talking about something very inspirational, I feel like. I think I know that girl from high school, and I don't want to talk to her. So we're, we're switching aisles. Um, God dang it. Oh, yeah, 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 so the story with John. So we get sandwiched in between, right? And John just goes, hey, Randall. Hey, when's the next podcast come out? And I'm just like, oh my god, that that was just like, that's the that was the trigger, right? I he he knew the story, he he wanted it to continue, so I just I I I, I caught the cue, so I'm just like, boy, I just start talking about it. It was it wasn't as long as I feel like it could have been, but I mean gotta I, I still think it's absolutely hilarious like <laughs> who we got here trading cards they got they got like individual cards against humanity trading cards these days I actually kind of want to find some trading card like hockey hockey trading cards UFC trading cards I believe they came out with a new series they got Rubik's cube see I got I'm just like um, he, he wanted something else, like a different kind. I, I, uh, I'm not even sure, to be honest, but, I'm not sure. He, he wanted a certain brand. He, I just told him that I was going to be at Target, so I'd look for him. Yeah. So I'm, so, I'm not sure about, I know there's, I know Mark has different Right, brands. right. Try Try Walmart or Menards. Let's yeah. stop at Menards. Menards got a Mer- good selection. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Thanks again. Yeah, you're welcome. What a nice lady. Officially, what the like? We need to start keeping track of the people that we talk to. <laughs> We're back in the pet wellness. Yeah, it's not it. We're in the uh, cat section, and you know, people shopping for cat things are certainly people that would be shopping for cat things like crazy old ladies. Um, they got like MTV hat. I just want like they used to have this giant ass trading card section, right? That that those were the days. I feel like maybe trading cards have just gone out of style. And I'm probably getting watched on the cameras because I'm walking around like an idiot talking to myself. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, we're going to walk down the Barbie aisle just because people were causing traffic jams elsewhere. Um, there is no um, trading cards. And I wanted some UFC trading cards. Get a big old Tony Ferguson card or something. That would be, that would be good. All right. Time to dip out of this place. We've been here for too long. And I really hope that it didn't. Oh, there's a guy in a fancy suit. He's looking sexy. It's book. Oh, there's a guy FaceTiming. We should go say hi to his FaceTime buddy. Ask him if he wants to be a guest on my podcast. And you get a FaceTime in the middle of a store. Dun, dun, dun. 
there, oh, here's the trading card section. Do they have, I don't think they sell UFC trading cards. If they sold them, I would totally fucking, they got like, hockey, they got baseball, they got WWE, Yu-Gi-Oh, baseball. You know what, I kind of feel like getting a pack just to like, open up and see 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 who we get and then we can give them out oh wouldn't that be good so they don't they don't sell hockey why don't they sell oh there's hockey right here five dollar mvp hockey cards 34 cards inside what 34 cards for five dollars that's a that's a pretty good deal and especially if you pull a good one otherwise they got what they got like football here I don't like football. Football. W. They do have UFC cards. They have 2019 UFC cards. Should I get them? They're kind of expensive. Seven packs plus one exclusive. Oh my god. Look for autographed cards. I kind of feel like getting one. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm getting these UFC cards, ladies and gentlemen. We got credit card. We're good to go. Let's check out. Be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at the car. Um, I bought these UFC cards, so I legit, I was looking for them one day, and I really wanted UFC cards just because I love the UFC. And um, I have a knife to open this. We got to find something sharp, like my keys. Oh, my God. And then they just had them. So here's what we're looking for. Those of you that know, my favorite fighter is Tony Ferguson. We're looking for a Tony Ferguson card. And if we get, um, I don't like Daniel Cormier. If we get a Daniel Cormier card, I have another friend who doesn't like Daniel Cormier. I'm going to give it to him. And um, we're going to unbox these. There's seven packs in here, I guess. So, I don't know. Seven for, I paid $20 for these. $20, $20 but... It, there's, if there's an autograph, I like the UFC and I, trading cards are cool. So I'm going to maybe hang them up in my basement, have a nice little trading card thing. This is official UFC merch. Um, let's open up, see what we get. Oh, ba they have it like, they, oh shit. All right, let's open up pack number one. Oh, we get an exclusive pack of four sepia... Sipia refractors. I don't know what the fuck that means. Did I win big? What's it? Am I supposed to get that? Oh, it does say seven plaques plus one exclusive pack. Okay. Pack number one. Oh my God. Let's see who we get. Oh, UFC cards. I can't, we're, we're having, a, let's see. Okay, Curtis Blades, that's a cool one. He's a good heavyweight. Henry Cejudo, the, the, <laughs> he's going to be the first ever triple champ when he knocks out Valentina Shevchenko. Henry Cejudo. Macy Barber, that's an upcoming star. Jared Cannonier. that's, that's a, I, I'm, I don't know. I'm pretty happy because, like, I know these guys. Like, it's pretty fucking cool. All right. Next pack. Let's see who we get. No way. We got a Justin Gaethje card. Oh, my goodness. We got Justin Gaethje. Santiago Ponzinibbio. No, we got a Valentino Shevchenko card. Oh, my God. That's pretty cool. And a George St. Pierre. Oh, dude, I'm like, <laughs> this was worth it. You guys are seeing my excitement live on the podcast. I actually have to, oh, my God, we got a Kamara Usman card. I hope he gets, oh, we got it. We got a Tony Ferguson. Yes, boys. Devontae Smith. Oh, we got we got a Darren Till card. Cool, a Chrome card, too. It's it's different. And a Kamara Usman. I can't wait for him to get his ass whooped by Kobe Covington. Oh, if we get a Kobe Covington card, I'm going to be so happy. No. Oh, my God. I ripped open half the pack. It's it's Conor McGregor getting punched in the face. I think it's Habib. Did I get a Habib card? I got a Habib card, too. 
And I got an, oh my God, I got another Tony Ferguson card. I'm so happy right now. We got another Darren Till and we got a Max Holloway. We're getting a lot of the champions. I have two Tony Ferguson cards now. I might, I'm, he, so he follows me on Twitter, Ashley Yoder. He follows me on Twitter and like, I could probably ask him if I send it to him, if he'd autograph it, like slip a 20 in there. We got a John Jones card. John, um, so Ashley Yoder, John Jones, Abu Azantar, Israel Adesanya. He just, he's the champion now. I think I'm going to send that to Andrew. I think Andrew would really like that. Maybe I'll give it to him. He's a longtime supporter of podcasts, and he's just all around good person. Ah, oh, Joanna Young J check. Rose Nama unit. So we get we get Joanna, and then we get Rose punching Joanna. TJ Dillashaw. Oh, we got a platinum Mike Perry card. That's cool. Is it autographed? There's no. Okay, that's just holograph. There's supposed to be an autograph card too. So TJ Dillashaw, he's banned. Um, so we have two more packs. We got this pack, and then we have the exclusive pack. Um, Marion Renault. Jose Aldo. Gerald Michart. Uh, he fought recently, I believe, in Edward Leon. That's these are really cool. I really like these. And I got Tony Ferguson. All right. Now this is the exclusive chrome pack. So um you have a chance at getting an autograph card, I think. So we'll see what I get here. Oh my god, these are cool. I it, so I got a Justin Gaethje one. They they pretty much they're like they're they're tinted. That's what the CPI is. So we got Justin Gaethje, Juan Espino. Jacare Souza and Cody uh, Cody Garbrandt. Cool. I I don't know. I'm really happy. I'm really happy I spent the money on it. Israel Habib and I got two Tony cards. Those are gonna be framed 110%. Framed and uh put on display. Oh I'm I'm so happy I actually found those. That's cool. Mmm strawberry milk so i actually i've been podcasting for a long while i have a half hour to get home edit this and post it because they go live at one o'clock so i want to thank you guys very much for tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed the impromptu card opening i guess um, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day go follow me on twitter at thoughts by randy go find reddit at um, or r slash driving with Randy. Make sure to leave a review on iTunes, like five, five out of five stars, maybe, maybe even a four because you didn't like the wind noise or something, but leave a review. I love reading those. I love getting stars. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. Peace.